Ethereum is having a hard fork on the 16th of January. What does it mean and how can you keep your funds safe? Well, the first thing to note is that yes, this is a hard fork. That means that there will be a new Ethereum blockchain, but it's really, really important to point out that this is not a contentious fork. When we had the Ethereum and Ethereum Classic split, there was a serious disagreement on different concepts and you had two camps who went their own separate ways over that conflict. Now with the current Ethereum hard fork, it's not contentious. The assumption is that the miners will be switching to the new chain. All of the current smart contracts on the current Ethereum blockchain will be replicated on the new chain. This is really about upgrades to the Ethereum blockchain overall. This is not about some kind of split within the community. Due to the upgrades to the Ethereum blockchain being so significant, this is why it requires a hard fork. There are some major changes that are gonna take place, and because of that, they need to do a hard fork. Now, what's really important to note here is that whenever there is a hard fork, that there can be a new currency created, a new coin, but Constantinople, the name of the current hard fork, is an upgrade. So a split, a chain split, a community split, like happened with Ethereum Classic, is not a very probable outcome. Now there is the potential that at the 11th hour, some big player, some big mining pool, for example, could decide, well, we don't like the upgrade and we're gonna go our own separate direction and make Ethereum Super Classic Plus or something like that. Possible but most likely there will be no coins produced. Currently, Ethereum is in the middle of an absolutely critical transition phase, a transition phase that is either going to make or break Ethereum in the long term. That is, of course, the move from proof of work to proof of stake. The Constantinople upgrade is a part of that upgrade. If Ethereum wants to stay the preeminent leader in the dApp world, well, they have to scale. They just have to. Yes, we do have new layer two solutions with like Raiden, for example, but the new upgrade is going to make Ethereum cheaper and faster, but it's also gonna be doing something very important, which is decreasing the reward for mining down from three Ethereum a block to two Ethereum a block. A common concern that I have seen around the internet is what is going to happen to my ERC20 tokens stored on my Ethereum wallet. Well, no need to worry. ERC20 tokens are actually a form of smart contract running on the Ethereum blockchain. So they will migrate to the new chain with everything else. So no need to do anything, just chill. In fact, the new Ethereum improvements are gonna make it so your ERC20 and ERC721 tokens will require less gas. So winning, guys. Another important part of the upgrade will be helping to optimize state channels. So we could actually really see these second layer solutions taking off in a big way. This is Omise Go, this is Loom, this is Raiden. All of these at the same time could be operating on top of Ethereum in a very efficient manner the hard fork is going to help make that process even easier. One important thing to note that is not going to be included in the Constantinople hard fork, even though it is being discussed at the moment, is ASIC resistance. So there has been a proposal put forward to make progressive proof of work that would essentially block ASICs. These are giant mining boxes specific computers for mining cryptocurrencies. Previously, Ethereum was only mineable using a graphics card. The ASICs have changed the game substantially. A lot of home miners or smaller miners are very upset about these changes and do want to see this brought in, but this is not going to be happening during the hard fork. The most important thing to keep in mind here is that this is a non-contentious hard fork. For the purpose of keeping safe, you're all good. Don't do anything. That's the best advice you can get. If you are running a full node, then you will need to upgrade to the most recent version. If you have no idea what a full node is, then you're not running a full node and you don't need to do anything once again. And even if you are running a full node, it's okay. Your node will simply stall out until you upgrade. 
So again, your funds are going to be safe. Most people won't even notice that this has happened. Your private keys stay the same, your public address stays the same, your Ledger Nano, you're all good. You don't have to do anything. Your Trezor, don't do anything. You're all good. My Ether Wallet, my crypto, you're all good. Remember, these are only interfaces to access Ethereum, right? That's not where your Ethereum and ERC20 tokens actually live. They're, they're an interface to access the Ethereum blockchain. So again, you don't need to do anything. The most important thing is to chill. Now, if you are mining, if you are mining, if you're an Ethereum miner and you're mining via a pool, which chances are you are probably mining via a pool unless you're running some giant warehouse full of Ethereum miners, and then you probably know what to do already. But if you're mining via a pool, the pool operators, again, will be updating the software. So again, you don't need to do anything. Just be chilling, guys. Just be chilling. Because scammers, 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 they're everywhere. Ah, scammers, they drive me crazy. So hard to stop scammers. And please beware of scams. There's already something going around called Ethereum Noah, which is basically fishing for people's private keys and stealing money. Remember, you don't have to do anything. Don't put your private keys in anywhere. There's not going to be any free airdrops. There's not going to be any free tokens. These sites that you see claiming to be alternate forks are going to be nothing but scammers. People trying to steal your money. You don't need to do anything except avoid giving these people your private keys so that they can steal your money. Be careful out there, guys. Seriously. Seriously. But what if I have my money sitting on an exchange, Lark? Well, we all know the situation. You shouldn't be storing your cryptocurrencies on an exchange. An exchange is not a safe deposit box. It is a marketplace. But if you are running trades, let's say you're trading Ethereum to Mise Go, and that's, that's your thing. That's what you do all the time. Well, you can actually leave those. That They're going to be fine. Um, all major exchanges have already come out saying that they are supporting the hard fork, that they will be running the upgrade. So again, you don't need to do anything. You'll never even notice that anything happened. And what if some miners decide, you know what, we're going to stay on the old chain, consequences be damned. Well, I think that would be a very small niche group should someone decide to continue mining the old Ethereum chain. I don't think it will really matter because it's going to have little to no value. No one's going to be there. All, everything will have migrated. All the projects, all the smart contracts, all the developers, all the exchanges, everything is gone. So if there's couple of guys mining a dead chain who cares not going to be relevant at all anyway i just wanted to share some of the information with you around the ethereum hard fork i know that there's been a lot of um, people trying to figure out what's going on and some some misinformation out there so i hope that this has helped put it into perspective for you remember all you got to do is chill <laughs> anyway those are just my thoughts you will let me know if you have any other questions about the Ethereum hard fork down below in the comment section. I'll try and answer them if I can. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You guys are super awesome. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. If you want to know when I put out a new video, click on that notification bell down below. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.